business. But it's a question we should ask ourselves too. According to the United Nations, 800,000 people commit suicide every year. This is one person every 40 seconds. So by the end of this video, four people will have committed suicide. And I'm not a specialist in any case or here to judge those people. But I have to ask myself, how is it possible that we live in one of the safest times in human history, though more people die by their own hands than by natural disaster and armed conflict combined? Seeing this really made me think about what happiness truly is and how to be happier. First of all, most of us confuse happiness with fun. To be truly happy, we have to reduce the amount of short-term happiness or fun to a minimum level. If it's easy to start and gives you immediate joy, it's not lasting for very long. Happiness is seeing the world for what it really is looking at the good sides and be grateful for them, acknowledging the bad ones and ask yourself if you can change it or accept it. You cannot chase happiness because it's always within yourself. Stop looking at it as something outside of yourself you have to achieve. Stop running after your own shadow. The first step to be happy is to decide you are. And yes, there will be hard days, and there will be even harder ones. And it's your right to be pissed off sometimes. But let me ask you something. Has your period of anger ever changed something for good? Wouldn't it be easier to decide to be happy, no matter what happens to you? Acknowledge life with all its color, with the broken heart, with goals to set, with hope and death, with tears and smiles. Not giving up on being happy and face the bad days with a grin. Stop chasing something you can create. Stop chasing happiness, but decide to be happy. And stop keeping it for yourself. Spread it with everyone around you. Give a smile and ignite the fire. And all together, we have the chance of reducing 800,000 to a world with hope.